January is done. Ciao friends, Beth with Thimblehooks. Thanks for stopping by. January is done. Look, isn't that awesome? This is the one that I've made for my mom who lives in Minnesota and it has been very cold. So you can see it's all the cool colors that I've made with my temperature blanket and my palette of I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby. And here's mine for our neck of the woods. And you can see it's been cold here too, but it hasn't been as cold because we're getting a little bit of the greens. See that? Isn't that fun? I just thought it was going to be so much fun to see how different it will look with the exact same stitches, the exact same pattern, the exact same color schemes in two different places. And you know, it gets pretty darn cold in Minnesota and it's been really cold here, which is not cool. This would not normally be this blue. So I'm going to tell you what I did here for ending a month. So if you're keeping up with me, this is all January through here, through this light blue right here. This is all January, every day, all 31 days of January. And then to keep our stitch count, or row count for each of our panels, because there's three panels, remember, this first panel is going to be January, February, March, and April. I did all of January, and then in between January, and this is February 1, 2, 3, and 4, I did three rows of linen. So you can use that any color you want, I guess. You could, that was just a color that doesn't have a month, but I thought it was a nice transition. It's a almost gray but not quite gray because here's a gray down here you can see this is just a little bit off white thought that was nice and this one you can see the fourth I put in the extra fine weight extra fine weight because it was my mom's birthday and this is her blanket so that's really all you need to do and anybody who's snowbound right now it's gonna be really easy to catch up you can hang out and do this very very easily someday we're gonna get into these colors which would be really nice be really nice to not have any more purple. I'm running out of purples. I'm almost out of periwinkle already, which is right here. It's from 1 to 10 degrees. That's crazy cold. I don't like it. And I've had to use it on my blanket too. But this is Minnesota temps. Not surprising, right? Right. I hope you're enjoying my video and my channel. If so, please click that button to subscribe. Thanks! So I'll remind you of the stitch that we use. Otherwise, you can go watch the very beginning one that I showed you a couple of weeks ago when I first got started. I had gone through the 8th. Now I'm through February 4th. There's a chain one to turn, and it's still connected because it's another cold day. Very first stitch is a single crochet through both loops at the end. And then after that, we're going to go into back loop only all the way down. all the way down and I will meet you at the other end of my blanket in just a couple of minutes. This really goes pretty fast. It does go pretty fast. And there's my last couple of stitches. Let's see, I have two stitches left. This one is back loop only. But then remember on the edges you always go through both loops just to make a nice edge. Let me take out my marker. I don't like this little marker anyway. So my very last stitch is through both loops. And that's the first pass for a day. Remember, so there's two rows for each day. And we're going to chain one, turn our work, we'll do the bar stitch part. Just as a reminder, first two are single crochets and the third one is a front post double crochet. Just go underneath that stitch from the previous row and complete your double crochet. And then two singles and our front post double crochet. Two singles and that's our sequence all the way down. That's our sequence for every day. Pull this out a little bit so I can turn it and show how pretty this looks. See that's just a fun stitch. It's a little bit of interesting texture to it. Dips down a little bit. It's just fun. But this side is interesting too in its own way. It has just nice stripes without any extra texture from the from our front posts. But it still looks nice. It is reversible. It doesn't have anything back here that's really the wrong side. It still looks pretty. 
So remember that, and you've got plenty of time. If you're snowbound like I have been since Wednesday, you have plenty of time to catch up on this. For all of those people in the Midwest and the East Coast and where you have crazy temperatures, you're going to have a very interesting 2022 blanket. So get all of your colors, plop down on the couch and go watch some Olympics and catch up on your rose. And I will see you in a couple of weeks and show you February. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks. Tell all your friends about us and stop back real soon. Thanks. Bye. Thank you.